Hey everyone, welcome back to Terramator Gardens. On today's episode of Edible Weeds, we'll be discussing a plant that might actually surprise you. It's wild garlic. This little green imposter has a familiar scent, but is it a friend or foe in your garden? Wild garlic boasts a strong connection to its cultivated cousin, the common garlic. Both share the scientific genus, Allium, but wild garlic takes a more wild and carefree approach to life. This prolific plant has spread across continents, following humans and popping up in historical records from Europe to Asia. Interestingly, wild garlic ha- even has a historical nickname, crow garlic, referencing its strong, pungent aroma. This is where things get interesting. Wild garlic can be a double-edged sword. Its strong scent and bubbles which are tiny aerial bulbs, can taint the flavor of nearby crops, making it a nuisance for farmers. However, its persistent nature and ability to thrive in poor soil conditions make it a resilient ground cover in landscaping. The verdict? It depends on your perspective. But for the forager, wild garlic is a readily available treat. You'll find it in sunny areas with well-drained soil like meadows, fields, and even along roadsides. Look for plants with flat, hollow leaves and clusters of tiny purple flowers at the top in late spring or summer. Before you harvest your wild garlic, there's one crucial tip. Identify correctly. Wild garlic can be confused with other lookalikes that might be harmful. When in doubt, throw it out. Also avoid harvesting from areas treated with herbicides or pesticides. Focus on younger leaves and flower buds for the best flavor and texture. Now, once you've identified your wild garlic safely, it's time to unleash its hidden potential. Wild garlic boasts a strong garlic flavor, but with a hint of chive-like oniony goodness. Young leaves and flower buds can be enjoyed chopped raw in salads, adding a pungent kick. Finely chopped wild garlic can be used as a substitute for garlic or chives in various dishes from pasta sauces to pestos and even omelets. The key to enjoying wild garlic lies in moderation. Its flavor is much stronger than cultivated garlic, so start slow and add more to taste. Older leaves can be tough and stringy, so focus on the younger, more tender foliage. Wild garlic isn't just flavorful, it boasts some potential health benefits like its cultivated cousin. Wild garlic has antibacteria and antifungal properties. However, more research is needed to confirm these claims. Wild garlic's uses extend beyond the kitchen. Historically, the crushed leaves can have been used for medicinal purposes, and some studies suggest it may even aid in repelling insects. Wild garlic is a plant that challenges definition. While it can be a foe for farmers, it offers a delicious and potentially beneficial addition to the forager's table. The key is proper identification and responsible harvesting. So the next time you encounter wild garlic, take a moment to appreciate its complex nature. With proper knowledge and caution, this fragrant friend or foe can add a delightful kick to your meals and a touch of wild to your life. Remember, with a little knowledge and the right approach, even a common weed can become a a delicious and enriching addition to your life. If you enjoyed learning more about wild garlic, be sure to subscribe for more episodes of Edible Weeds. We'll be uncovering the secrets of other underappreciated forage screens, so stay tuned for exciting discoveries in the wild world of edible plants. Happy foraging, but forage safely.